Have you ever had your knee give out on you, say, when you're going up and down the stairs or stepping off a curb or walking on any uneven surface and that actually made you fall? Now, you may or not have any previous injury or trauma to your knee, and this buckling seemed to come out of nowhere and somehow it stayed with you, and it may even be increasing in frequency and intensity. I know it can be unpredictable and scary because you do not know when it's going to happen again. And who knows, the next time that happens, you can hurt yourself pretty badly. If that's you, let's see if I can help. So, follow along. Hi, I'm Mike, physiotherapist from MyPhysioGo. In this video, I will cover a common reason, but sometimes overlooked, as to why your knee buckles, how to assess this yourself, and a few simple exercises that you can do about it to fix it. To understand why the knee buckle, we must first understand the anatomy of the muscle group that's primarily involved, which is the quadriceps, and specifically the vastus medialis, which we'll get into in a little bit more detail later. The quadriceps consists of four muscles, hence name quad. The primary responsibility is to keep the knee straight, bringing the knees up towards the hip as well as controlling our knee bend, as in lowering ourselves when we're sitting back in a chair or walking down the stairs. The quads consist of the three vasti muscle and the rectus femoris. You have the vastus lateralis, which is located on the outside, intermedius in the middle, and the medialis on the inside part of the thigh. They all originate in different parts of the femur and attach to the knee. The rectus femoris, on the other hand, originates from the pelvis, so it helps to flex the hip in addition to extending the knee. So why are the quads? Important, they are activated in almost all activity when we're weight bearing. So things like walking, running, jumping, getting up from a chair, going up and down stairs, kicking a ball, they all require the use of the quads. Now the accumulation of all these activities can tighten and shorten the quads. You can actually gradually develop weakness and also a sense of tension, but may also feel pain in different parts of the thigh and knee. And these are called referred pain patterns. They're caused by trigger points or are also more commonly known as muscle knots. In the next segment, I will show you the various referred pain patterns for the separate quad components and see if this can describe you if you have any knee or thigh discomfort that's accompanying your knee buckling issues. Trigger points can be varied and numerous on the vastus lateralis. They can cause widespread pain on the outside part of the knee as well as the whole side of the upper thigh. Trigger points on the vastus intermedius is hard to access with palpation, but you can experience a pattern of pain on the upper thigh. People consistently complain about the difficulty of straightening the knee after sitting for a while or walking with a limp when you first get out of the sitting position. For the rectus femoris, pain is referred to the front of the knee and above the kneecap. The last but not least, and the focus of knee buckling is the vastus medialis. Not only trigger points can cause the inside of knee and thigh pain, but having these trigger points can also disable the entire quads, especially when the knee is turned in when walking on an uneven surface or walking downhill. The vastus medialis trigger points is activated in a greater extent as the muscle lengthens while contracting, or also known as eccentric contraction. This sudden load increase is what causes the knee to buckle and completely lose strength. So what can cause the buildup of trigger points in the quads? Now strenuous athletic activities involving the quads, so things like jumping, running, squatting, especially deep squats, will do just that. For the vastus medialis, excessive pronation of the foot, hypermobile midfoot, or simply prolonged kneeling down can do that. Also, tight hamstrings, and if you have muscle imbalance in the hips, or even having a heavy weight on your lap, like a child sitting in your lap during a plane ride, just to name a few. So lots of possibilities. So to quickly resolve the symptoms of knee buckling, you can choose to release the trigger points in the vastus medialis. But to resolve these issues and prevent trigger points from occurring in the first place, you need to find out the cause. So a quick test to see if we have any restrictions. For the vastus medialis, we bend the knee while we're lying down and there should be no restrictions on the knee bend. You can also firmly press on the inside of your thigh for any tenderness, and sometimes I like to do on my own is just to gently hammer fist the tender spots, and once I find it, I can mark it and make a mental note of where it is. You can also assess the tightness of the quads by lying down on the edge of the bed with the back of the upper thigh and the lower back of the bed. As you bring the left knee towards your chest, and your right hip rises up and your knee extends, then you have both tight quads and hip flexors. If you straighten the knee and the hips lower, then you have tight quads. Your knee needs to be able to bend at least 80 degrees to be considered normal quad length. So the fix. Quad stretching, rolling and self trigger point release techniques in various positions can help. Now this all depends on the amount of space that you have and what kind of tools that you have. Now note before stretching out the quads, you may also want to stretch out your hamstrings as well because the hamstrings can sometimes go into spasm uh, when your knee is bent in a quad stretch position. 
You can also apply a little bit of moist heat or some gentle warm up before you stretch and that will make the process a little bit more comfortable. As with all the stretches, you want to hold for at least 30 seconds and then repeat at least three times daily. To stretch out your quads in standing, you want to stand up nice and tall and engage your core. You can hold on to something stable with one hand for support if you have a problem with your balance. Reach back and grab your foot and direct your heel to your butt to stretch the vastus, and extend your hips to stretch the rectus femoris. If you need assistance to help bend the knee, you can pull with a strap attached to your foot. To stretch out different parts of the quads, you can also turn your knees in and out. You can also stretch the quads in side lying. In this position, you lie directly on your side, you grab one foot and bring your heels towards your buttocks and extend your hips to get the full stretch of the quads. While all the stretching in the world is great, but unfortunately, it does not get rid of the trigger point spots on the quads. So you can use any and all of the following tools, whichever suits you. Common equipment for trigger point release are hand roller, foam roller, tennis ball, massage gun, and if you're really frugal, your elbows. You want to hold for at least 30 seconds, but one minute would be great. Try to do this for at least 10 minutes a day. You want to focus on the areas that are tender, and you may realize with subsequent sessions, your pain will decrease. So that's it for the video on how to treat knee buckling. I hope that you've enjoyed it and found it helpful. Now give us a try and let us know in the comments below if it worked for you. And if you'd like to cut us to cover a certain topic, you can also let us know as well. Please give us a thumbs up if you like this video and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. Bye for now.